Yo, what's from Rip Against here? And I'm doing a little bit more Sonic Mania. So yeah, it is <clears throat> um, just one day after the game has been released on PC, and I want to play it some more. So I am. If you are wondering, that is how many episodes now? Um, four episodes in two days, if you count this one. So I'm staying pretty busy with this game, but it's a very good game. So you have that, and um, apparently there have been... Uh-oh. Oh, I'm actually supposed to hold that. Cool. Uh, I should know, I did that in a preview of on last episode, but whatever, right? Fire Shield for the win! I remember that one. And, uh, yeah. But apparently some people have been having some problems with the PC version, uh, specifically with um, DRM stuff. And, uh, yeah, I feel you. Um, oops. And this is why I hate the stupid, um, stupid Sky Chase, or not Sky Chase, sorry, Flying Battery. Sky Chase Sonic 3 Knuckles. Um, yeah, so, I, I feel the concerns, I get it. I don't like the Nuvo or whatever. Um, one thing I do have a problem with is just the fact that, that, like, a lot of people are giving it really bad reviews on Steam because of it. And I know I totally understand the position of doing that, but the, the problem is that by giving it really bad reviews, I wouldn't say Sega's the most intelligent company out there, unfortunately. So, my concern is that they're only going to look at the review numbers and be like, oh, I guess there's no market for a 2D Sonic game. Better get rid of that. Even though that would totally defy all the logic of what they've done so far, I'm... Yeah, I mean, I don't have really any confidence in Sega to not do something illogical, unfortunately. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so I, I would say I have just as much of a problem with it as you guys. Um, like, of course. I'm sure there are people out there who are, who are way more upset about it than I am. Um, I just love that the game... Oops, I didn't know this blew up. <laughs> I'm, I love that the game is so much fun. It's great. Well, that's cool. I bet you I could get that ring using Tails. I don't know, though. Anyway. Oh, oops. I, I was going to stop going into these. This is the last one, if I can remember. <laughs> anyway, so the biggest issue I guess I have is that... Um, by giving a ton of negative reviews on Steam, they'll say, oh, there's no market for 2D Sonic game, and uh, Mania 2 is cancelled. And I really wouldn't want that to happen, because this is an excellent game, and everyone kind of, like, I would say for the most part, everyone loves it. And so I just think it was a little bit disingenuous to say to the consumer, hey, we're going to delay this for two weeks for performance issues, and then they go ahead and implement DRM. And uh, for those of you who don't know what DRM is, it's just essentially saying that, um, hey, we're going to check this other person's server to make sure that this game is legitimate. And, like, on the surface, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it ends up, in the end, treating the consumer like a pirate. And it only ends up being bad for the consumer because it causes inconvenience on their part. Maybe some performance issues, that's not really confirmed. Um, there have been rumors about stuff that does hard drives, so I'm going to just focus away from that because there's no proof. So, um, but just in, as a general rule, the DRM is harmful to consumers because, A, if they, for example, um, their DRM servers went down, then the problem you end up having is, well, at that point... I'm sorry, at that point, what happens to your games? If they can't... Um, so essentially what DRM is doing is it's checking into a main server and saying, Hey, uh, did they pay for this? Or I guess just saying, hey, is this legitimate? And effectively, when it says yes, it's like, okay, you can play the game. And the idea is that it stops piracy, but the problem is it really doesn't help that much, because people crack these things on day one. Like, at one point it was decent in, like, terms of preventing piracy, but now it just doesn't really help anything. It just hurts the consumer in the end. And I have a problem, like, I have a huge problem with anti-consumer measures. That's always been something that I hate, because, at least in my opinion, because, um, I would, I would just say that I have a very pro-consumer point of view in terms of companies. Like, definitely there are people out there who are huge anti-corporation consumer only mindset people. I don't really know how to phrase that properly. Is that, is that a gap right there? I don't see wait, I don't see where to go. Um, and it's like some people are super anti corporation in every sense. Um, I don't have a problem with a lot of corporations. They're the boosters. Um uh oh. I thought I turned. Anyway. I don't have a problem with a lot of corporations out there. Well, let me rephrase that. I do have a problem with a lot of corporations, but I don't have a problem with them being um, I don't have a problem with corporations because of, just for the sake of them being corporations. My problem is them doing things that are inherently darn it anti consumer and hurt their own business. And I don't like... It's not the corporation part of it, I just don't like people making stupid decisions. <laughs> that's that's where most of it comes through. Oh sweet, I forgot about this! They added, um... Oh, sorry for a second, I, I want to talk about the, uh, the electric shield. They added this new concept where you're attracted upwards with the electric shield in this area. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but um, they've added a cool new feature to the electric shield where it pulls you upwards towards these little electric doodads. And then I lost the electric shield, so there's that. The electric shield lets you double jump. Anyway, uh, about DRM and anti-consumer stuff. So when corporations decide to be anti-consumer, I have a big problem with that specifically because consumers are what makes corporation... They're what make the corporations thrive at, oops, thrive at all. Without the consumers, they couldn't have a business. 
And so, I bet there's a secret. Oops. <laughs> so much for having a secret. Here, let's try that again. Um, I guess the problem I have with that is that the, corp the consumers what makes corporations... Why did I fling that way? What makes corporations run in the, in the end? And if you do stuff to ruin... Why am I failing? Ruin your consumers or make it so they're not having a great time. Then you end up hurting yourself in the end as a business. I'm not, maybe I just can't do that. Drop dash isn't as fast as a spin dash. Good to know. Anyway, and so I just I don't understand a lot of these business decisions. Maybe I, I just straight up can't go that way. That's fine. Let's go this way instead. Oh, I saw I saw a preview on this part from the Sonic game. Oh, oh, and I read them. I actually read the manual. Sorry, not gonna go through there. Not gonna go through there. They show up when you have 25 ranks. So, oh, 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 I'm gonna try something. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I was trying to go through there, but it didn't work. Because I know that there's a path up there and secret area, maybe? And you're able to use tails to get into places you couldn't get to otherwise, which is really cool. Anyway, um, was I on consumers or was I on something else? The things take 25 rings to go through. Anyway, so I guess I'll go back to consumers. Because if corporations just are blatantly anti-consumer, I just don't see how they're, first of all, able to thrive as a business at all. Um, it's just, a lot of times it's because consumers have no other option. Oops. I got hit and I have zero rings now. Oh, thank you, Tails. I appreciate that. Anyway, it's like biting the hand that feeds you, I guess, because in the end, consumers or corporations only exist because of the consumer. I like this power-up. And so when you do stuff to hurt the people who are giving you money, then it just ends up creating a really poor relationship. This is cool. It's like magnets. And so, I don't know. I just, I don't like the, darn it, the, the DRM idea. Oops, I should get those. Oh, I got crushed. <laughs> Um, it's cool, we got a checkpoint. So, um, the D it's just the DRM is going to be an anti-consumer option either way. Oh, look, we can try to get this again. How do we do it? How do we do it? Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Check this out. This is super cool, you can fly in single player. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I, I messed up, but whatever. Come on, Tails, come on, Tails. No, 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 no. Aw, oh, I, I dropped. Darn it. If we die again, we'll do it. I hope we don't die again, but whatever. So, we're gonna go down a different path this time and see what happens. Okay, so that's, that's a crushing hazard. Oops. And, um, so anyway, just either way, the DRM ends up being poor for consumers, because at least with Sonic Mania when it released, it had an online... It was online only. And this is a single-player game that should have no problem with offline. And they say they fixed it. I don't know. I've only been playing it online because I don't ever really stop my internet connection. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't like the way it's implemented. I know they can do it properly, but pe a lot of people, for, um, one reason or another, will consider, uh, DRM like, uh, de nouveau malware. And I can't, I need to, well, <laughs> and I can't say I blame them for that. It kind of, in a sense, is. It's not exactly, but there are aspects of it, because, like, malware is anything that, um, inconveniences a user, hurts a user, that's gonna crush me. I thought I could get through there. I'm sorry I'm playing so poorly, but I do have an excuse now. Apparently, uh, today being the 30th of August, dating the episode, that's fine, 30th, 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 30th of August 2017, there is not proper controller support, which is kind of weird. Um, just kind of goes to show that it does seem like um, the game was only delayed to implement DRM in the first place, which which is a problem. I mean, you don't want to del delay a game, especially not for just to be anti-consumer. This is cool. I thought I was going to get crushed. And um, so I do have problems with that. Oh, that was a spring. That's cool. And so just, I was really salty about the, um, the delay of Sonic Mania. I know a lot of you guys were too. Uh, just ask, uh, like, my brother or something, because like, a lot of people I talk to definitely know that uh, I was salty about the, the whole delay situation. So. In the end, if it really was only delayed to implement DRM, I do think that that's a huge issue, and uh, um, the devs are actually really upset about it. Now this reminds me, ooh, I, I know I heard something about Spider Boss, but I didn't know anything about it. This reminds me of the final boss from Sonic 3, I want to say. Because you had to, like, it shot a laser, and you had to avoid it. Oh crud, there's like a time limit. That wasn't very difficult. Okay, now we're gonna do this. I don't know... Okay, so there's some TV boxes down here, and you can get an achievement if it hits them. But I don't know where they are. <laughs> and Well, you can get an achievement if it hits two of them at once. 
Well, I don't know where they are. That's fine. So, um... So the developers are actually super upset about it, um, and they one of them said, if you have any complaints about DRM, direct your complaint to, uh -oh, to, I think it was... Oh, that's kind of neat. That is neat. I really like the way this is designed. Anyway, to Sega of Europe, because they were handling the release of Mania. Flying Battery Zone 2. So it seems like the pattern is, Act 1 is like a remix of the uh, original versions, and Act 2 is um, just a totally, they've added a totally new concept, is what it seems to be. So that, that, that was kind of fun. And um, so let's see how, what they added to make Act 2 different. They already changed something in Act 1 by adding the electric shield, um, what was it? Electric, like, oh, I wonder if this will kill me. Nope, it won't. This is cool. I like that. Trash dumps. Anyway, by adding the electric shield moving up and down option, I have no idea what I'm trying to say. They added the ability with the electric shield to, um, oh yeah, to be like, to be magnetized. There we go. We are failing hard. I am failing hard. Not you guys. Well, <laughs> so we did that whole thing just to get an electric shield that we already had and die. So that's, that's on me. Did I game over? No, I didn't game over. I need to actually stop dying, because I'm going to run out of lives, and it's going to be sad. Um, fortunately, in this game, when you game over, it just brings you back to the beginning of the stage, but I don't want you guys to have to... I don't want to subject you guys to that. So, what was I saying? Being anti-consumer, stuff like that. Let's try to take the upper path this time. Just, just, just to have a little taste. One of my favorite parts of Sonic games is the branching paths. Just, there's so many different ways to play the stage, it has huge replay value just so you can see all the stuff that they want to implement. Or I guess did implement. <laughs> so, it's just so beautiful. Anyway, um, oh, that was cool, I just went outside. Anyway, so DRM being anti-consumer, oh, well, I ran right into that. It's okay, we're up to 25 again. So, there we go, got the invincibility. I love the invincibility theme. Wait for that thing to come pick me up. And yeah. So what else do I have to say about Durham? Other than me not liking it. But, you know, you guys know that. Nobody really likes it. I don't think. I mean, if you do, feel free to correct me. I mean, I'm not going to be salty. I don't care. I don't want to die. I definitely don't want to die here. I don't know what to do. Oh, I, I can... Go... No, I can't go down here. Um... Tails is down there. I bet you I could get down there, maybe? Let me try that. Okay, I can. And I just lost my fire shield. So, um... Anti-consumerisms... What else? How do I get down there? Um... Hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> But, uh, oh, can I go this way? No, I cannot. Okay. So yeah, the DRM is an issue. Complained to Sega of Europe about it. One of the game developers tweeted their, um, their email. I guess I'm just supposed to go up. That's the only thing I can imagine. That was an alternate path for going up. Especially since there are spikes there. Okay, so yeah, so I'm just supposed to go this way. Cool. So, uh, you can go... I, I'll put, I might post the, uh, link to their, um their help center in the, in the description. It's just, I, I really want to promote positivity about the game, especially since it's just such a good game. And I just, that was interesting. So, I just, I hate promoting negativity. And that's, well, I'm not going to call out certain websites right now. Secrets! Oh, I can't get them. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't want to call anyone out right now, so I'm not. Ooh, ooh lives. I could use that. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I just I hate calling people out on stuff, just because, at least in, on this channel, I, I'll do it in real life, because I'm a super huge jerk in real life, as I'm sure that's clear, because I'm super jerkish on, on this channel, but no, legit, I, I don't like negativity that much, um, like, I'm, I'm willing to be negative about things, of course, but I don't want it to be, like, I don't want it to be, the, I don't want negativity to ruin the things that people care about, like, something like this game. Um, I would hate for Sonic Mania 2 to be cancelled just because of the mistakes that Sega made regarding DRM and Mania 1. So, we're gonna hopefully not have to worry about that. We, darn it, give me the rings, give me the big rings. Okay, so we're going to keep it positive and 
enjoy this game. And it looks like I'm actually already out of time, so I appreciate you guys listening to my rant. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. What is the last thing I want to say about DRM and stuff? Um, just, I hate that Mania's Steam reviews are being hurt, because even if they remove it, nobody, like, most of those people aren't going to go back and change it. And that's the biggest problem I have, is that you're doing permanent damage to something that even though I do agree that your voices should be heard, it should be, like, cried out to say, hey, don't do this, we don't like this, well, by hurting this, the game itself instead of just hurting the DRM, and I understand the DRM is at this point a part of the game, and everyone's angry at Sega for essentially lying to the consumers, but I just, I know that because A, Sega's not that smart, and B, the DRM is coupled into the game, you end up in a Catch-22 scenario where you can't say, hey, we support you doing the DRM, but at the same time saying, hey, uh, sorry, hey, we reject you doing the DRM, but hey, we also support the game. Um, it just becomes difficult, because I don't really have confidence that Sega can look into that and say, hey, um, we understand that you guys are upset about the DRM, but not about Sonic Mania in and of itself. So, just I, I don't want the game itself in future installments, perhaps of the 16-bit Genesis era style, to suffer because of fans being upset by DRM. But at the same time, I don't want this DRM to be implemented in the future because it really is an anti-consumer practice. It's not necessarily as bad as people would claim. It might be. But at the same time, I don't want the future of Mania to suffer for something that may or may not be like the end of the world. So that's up for you guys to decide whether you absolutely hate it or you absolutely just don't care. But, um... Just, I don't, I hate that the game is being hurt because of it, and the developers are being hurt for all the time and effort they put into it. And just, in the end, just voice your complaints to Sega, but I, I wouldn't personally do it in the Steam reviews. You can. You have full, have full, just, you know, full ability to do what you want. But, um, that's just my take on it. So I really appreciate you guys watching and listening for that. I'll probably stop talking about DRM in the future. Um, read the manual, that's cool, I read that. And, um, just, I can't believe I barely got through a stage and a half on Flying Battery in this episode. But yeah. Um, just let me know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, I'll read and probably respond to every single one of those. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.